Was there any specific role that you previously had that, that prepared you for your current position at Kodak Alaris? Yeah, absolutely. If, if I had to pick one, it would have been the mergers and acquisitions uh, position that I had. Uh, this was a small group of people inside the Eastman Kodak Company, about a dozen of us. They had an IT person, HR, finance, uh, some business people, and uh, any of the deals, uh, either an acquisition or a divestiture, would go through that group. Um, our responsibility was to do the due diligence on either the selling of the of the uh, asset or an acquisition of a company. Um, what that forced me to do is think more like a business person because I was sitting around the table with an IT hat on, but had to understand um, the accretive nature of a, of a deal um, and listened to all of the different aspects of what that deal would entail. So it may have been a great deal from a product perspective, but may not have been a good, very good deal from a human capital perspective. Um, I was forced to, to interact with all sorts of CIOs. Uh, if we were going to buy a company, you would interact with the CIO and ask them, what's your budget? What's it look like? What are your uh, projects? And I created a list of probably about 50 questions that I would go through a checklist. Um, and that helped me learn uh, the different styles of CIOs. So if you deal with five, six, seven different, uh, you're a journalist, you know this, you deal with five, six, seven different CIOs, they all approach it a little differently. Um, so for me, I was able to then cobble together my own style, what I thought would work best, but temper that with the whole business nature. Is this a good deal? Should we be investing in this company or not? So from an IT perspective, I might have had a, per, a perspective, but from a business perspective, um, you know, that forced me to think more like a business person.